हे एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डीकेडी एजुकेशन हैव यू एवर वॉन्डर हाउ एरोप्लेन्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कंट्री आर एबल टू क्रेस क्रॉस द स्कीज फ्लाइंग ओवर द बॉर्डर एंड लैंडिंग इन एयरपोर्ट ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड वेल इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द राइट प्लेन्स और ए स्कील पायलट it's all thanks to something called the freedom of the air in this video we will break down the different type of freedom explain how they affect the flight and explore some real world example the highlight their importance so buckle up and let's take off into the world of aviation law and global connectivity don't forget the hit that like button subscribe for more insights and let us know in the comment what you think about the freedom of the air ready for take up let's go first freedom of the air the right to fly over a foreign country without landing non stop flight airlines can operate non stop flight between two points in their own country without landing in another country direct flight airlines can operate direct flights between two points in different countries efficiency over flight right save time and money for airlines by allowing them to take the most efficient route international connectivity over flight right facilitate international connectivity by enabling airlines to operate flight between distant countries second freedom of the air the right to make a technical stop in a foreign country for non traffic purpose while in route to another country refueling airlines can refuel their aircraft at airport in foreign countries maintenance airlines can conduct maintenance on their aircraft at airport in foreign countries crew change airlines can change crew member at airports in foreign country cargo loading airlines can load cargo onto their aircraft at airport in the foreign countries third freedom of the air the right to carry passengers or cargo from own country to another country this freedom allowed to airlines to carry passengers or cargo from their own country to another country the airlines must originate in the country of departure outbound flights airlines can operate flights from their own country to another country point to point flights airlines can operate point to point flights between their own country and another country international market access the third freedom gave airlines access to international market fourth freedom of the air the right to carry passengers or cargo from another country back to one's own country this freedom allow airlines to carry passenger or cargo from a foreign country to their own country the airlines must terminate in the country of arrival of the air the right to ca carry passenger or cargo from one's own country to a second country with a stop in third country to pick up or discharge passenger or cargo this freedom allow airlines to carry passenger or cargo from a foreign country to a third country two stop flights airlines can operate flights with two stop in different country the first stop is in a foreign country the second stop in a third country route extension this freedom enables airlines to extend their routes behind their own country and a foreign country connecting flight airlines can provide connecting flight between two foreign countries sixth 
freedom of the air. The right to carry passengers or cargo between two foreign countries on a flight originating or ending in own, own country. This freedom allow airlines to carry passenger or cargo from a foreign country to their own country and then on to a third country. Combined flight. This freedom allow airlines to combine traffic from different countries. Intercontinental flight. Airlines can operate intercontinental flight with multiple stops in different countries. Expanding networks. This sixth freedom allow airlines to expand their networks by operating flight between different countries. Seventh freedom of the air. The right to operate flight between two foreign countries without continuing service to one's own country. This freedom allow airlines to carry passenger or cargo between two points within a foreign country. It is considered a very restricted freedom generally only granted in a specific circumstances. Limited right. Cabotage rights are often limited to a specific route or type of, of flight. Domestic flight. Airlines can operate domestic flight within a foreign country. Bilateral agreement. Cabotage rights are often granted through bilateral agreement between countries. Eight freedom of the year. The right to transport passengers or cargo between two points in a foreign country on a flight originating or ending in one's own country. This freedom allows airlines to carry passenger or cargo between two points with a foreign country and then to continue on to a third country. This is very rare freedom. Long haul flight. Airlines can operate long haul flight with multiple stops in different countries. Complex route. This freedom allows airlines to operate complex routes that involve multiple stops in different countries. Importance of the freedom of the air. The freedom of the air are essential for development of international air travel. They promote competition, lower fare, and increase access to destination, economic growth. The freedom of the air promotes economic growth by stimulating tourism, trade, and investment. Connectivity. The freedom of the air facilitate connectivity between countries, fostering culture, exchange and global understanding. Competition. The freedom of the air increase competition among airlines which benefit consumers through lower fare and better service. Global trade. The freedom of the air support global trade by facilitating the transport of goods and services between countries. 